Okay, let's spot that wave right for the kicker. Steer the kite up, take off. Go for that huge kite loop front roll. And now let's prepare for that one. <laughs> I guess that was a crash. Hey guys, what's up? I'm currently in Mauritius where the COVID-19 virus obviously also hit. Um, they're taking quite some drastic measures here because we already have to stay inside for a couple of days and now they also started closing down the supermarket. That aside, there is still a lot of things I can do here and obviously I have nice weather so I shouldn't be complaining that much. Um, I'm very sorry for the guys that already had to stay at home for such a long time. It really ain't that great and I totally understand that now. Um, but what can we still do? We can still prepare our tricks or our mind for the next session once there is wind and we are allowed to go out. You can for instance take a couple of steps to define a trick, analyze a trick and then visualize a trick for your next session. So let's start with step number one which is defining the trick you actually want to do. There's a lot of ways to find new tricks. You can, for instance, watch videos of pro riders, even though these tricks are usually hard and at a very high level. The other option is just searching beginner tricks on YouTube or on Google, and there will be a couple of tricks popping up. Your friends might be that you're riding with might be at a slightly higher level, and they might give you some ideas on tricks you can try. Or you just landed a trick, and you're just wondering what the next step is. Like you already noticed, there's a lot of ways to find new tricks, but in the end, you have to ask yourself the question, am I going to be able to reach this trick in <laughs> the next so many, so much time? Because it, I know a lot of people, for instance, want to learn the hand drag or the, the dark slide, and they're just able to jump. So this is actually a trick that's not very realistic. So start with a realistic trick. Step number two, is analyzing the trick because the trick in question you want to go through it in your head and you want to know every single bit about it so let's take this hand drag to blind for instance you will see if you have a closer look that the trick consists of a takeoff the actual trick part and the landing we can practice all these different segments on their own so once you go out on the water you can do all those different segments on their own. But first, we have to define different tricks that make up this complete trick. So the first trick, even though it's only a takeoff, is a floating jump. It is a jump where you don't take off hard and where you steer your kite wide. So you actually float where it then goes straight up. Then the hand drag is also something you can try. Um, you will try this obviously after your takeoff. But that's when you start letting back, letting go with that backhand and start floating over the water. And then the landing is something you can also completely try on its own. It's a blind landing. So yeah, go right blind out there or try a little rally or a little pop to blind. Try to land it and try to ride it out. So analyzing the trick and defining the separate tricks that are needed to do this major trick is a very important part and those are all things you can do at home. It's time to go to step number three. Step number three is visualizing the trick you want to do. Visualization can be a very powerful tool to already walk through all the steps you need to do in a trick and prepare yourself for the unexpected. I for instance do it a lot um, for tricks that ask a lot of rotations and I sometimes on the water repeat the same mistake then I'll go home close my eyes and walk myself through every single step of that trick and like that I can already create a flow so when I'm out there I know what to do because I've already done it 10 15 20 30 times on the couch at home so Come with me, I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to visualize a kite loop and you guys can follow and see how I visualize this trick step by step. Riding with speed at a kite at 45 degrees, steer the kite up, hit the kicker, pull the bar down, wait a moment, now start pulling on that right side of the bar, steer the kite low through the wind window, depower a little bit, keep on steering the kite to the top right side down loop over the left as the kite comes over your head spot the landing 
absorb the impact and start writing it out. As you can see, all of these movements go really, really quick. So now if we start playing this video in full speed, you're going to see it helps a lot to go for every single step and prepare as much as possible. Okay, so now that you hopefully have a better understanding of how I visualize a trick, you can try it yourself. But first, I have two more tips for you. Tip number one is define different tricks you can try and give them a wind range. For instance, you don't want to try Rayleigh's in 35 knots on a 7 meter. Or you don't want to try kite loops in 12 knots on a 15 meter. So define two or three tricks, give them a wind range and preferably they're all in a different wind range. So you can practice a trick in every type of conditions when you're out there. Tip number two will be after crash analyzation. So once you're out there, if you finally get out there, which is gonna last, I don't know how long, I hope it's not too long for everybody's sake. Um, but once you're out there and you crash, think about how did I crash? Did I over rotate? Did I under rotate? Did I not pull my bar in far enough? And this asks a lot of your body awareness, but try to be aware of your body and try to understand why you crashed because you can take this information and add it for your next trick so you can actually figure out how not to crash. Okay, and that's already it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please leave a comment if you have any ideas on content I can start creating. Uh, I've been brainstorming quite a lot and I have some stuff coming up, but ideas are always welcome. Please subscribe if you weren't already. Here's a couple more videos for you to have a look at to kill some time. Everybody, please stay safe, keep your social distance, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.